What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I know I just posted a video just about 2-3 hours back uh, talking about the PS4 9.00 firmware jailbreak that was officially released. Guys, right now I'm on my PS4 Pro and I'm going to show you which firmware I'm on and what actually is the state of my PS4 Pro right now. I go to settings and guys, as you can see, Golden is on my PS4 Pro. I'm going to scroll all the way down, go to system, system information, no jump cuts, right there guys, system software, HEN 9.00. So guys, it is officially done. It is now jailbroken, as mentioned. So this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PS4, no matter what firmware you are, as long as it's less than 9.00, and how to jailbreak your PS4. There are some extra steps involved here, guys, but not a problem. I'm going to show you exactly step by step on what to be done. Some of these steps will be temporary because there are better methods being worked on in the background. Their main developers in the background, like Emilio, Natsuki, Sistro, working in the background to make it completely a web-based jailbreak at the moment. But right now, we need to go ahead and launch it from a PC or a Mac. It's a little difficult on the Mac. We've been having a little bit of a delays because we've been doing a lot of testing. Um, but you can do it from a Windows PC right now. So let us talk about the requirements for this particular jailbreak. One, you need a USB pen drive. And guys, it should be dedicated. You can't keep using it for other things as well. So something that you'd never really use or something in the lying around the corner, just use one of these USB pen drives in order to use it for every single time you jailbreak. So two, if you are planning to upgrade to 9.00, so there are some things that you need that like the firmware for 9.00 so three you need to have a few files and some softwares ready in hand and i'm going to take you through that so not a problem and four your excitement to go ahead and jailbreak this 9.00 <laughs> all right guys so once you're all ready let's go and get this done so let's jump into the system and i'm going to show you what you need first all right guys, so here we are on the system right now and I created a folder called PS4 9.00 jailbreak of all the essential things that we need. So of course you need the gold hen 2.00 uh, payload for 9.00 firmware. You also need the image file in order to go and flash your USB pen drive. Finally, you also need Netcat in order to send this particular payload to the PS4. I know it sounds a little complicated over here guys, but there is a method being worked on right now. So eventually we'll be having it pretty easy where we can just get it done from the website, uh, from a host itself you don't have to do this from the pc but for right now guys for whoever's interested to go and get it jailbroken as soon as possible this is the only way that we have to do it for now it's pretty simple i'm going to leave all the links in the description guys so first thing you need is to get the netcat gui 1.1 you can get this one from this link over here i'll leave this link in the description second thing you need the x fact image you need the image for the USB pen drive. You can go and get it from here. Click on this and click on download zip. We'll have all these files together, but this is what's important. Then you need to have a golden 2.00 bin. So once you have this link entered and you click on enter, it's going to directly download it for you. And of course you need the Win32 disk imager in order to go ahead and flash your USB pen drive. Finally, you need to have the firmware for 9.00 if you want to go ahead and update. And if you don't want to update, if you're already on 9.00, so you can go straight into the second part of the video. For those who want to go ahead and update your PS4, you might be in a different firmware. You could be in 8.xx, you could be in 7.55, or any other firmware below 7.55 or below 9.00. And you want to update to 9.00 in order to go ahead and jailbreak, then I recommend you to come to this particular URL. I will leave this link in the description as well. So guys, you need to go ahead and log in first. If you don't have a login, you can go and register. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my particular account here so as you can see once you're logged in you can go back to the firmware lists and now you'll be able to download before it mentioned login but now you can actually go and click on download so there's always a small doubt if you want to choose a retail firmware or a recovery firmware or a test kit firmware so this is unrelated guys so just ignore the test kit firmware part of things you can either choose from retail firmware or recovery firmware to simply put uh, retail firmware is just an update file, but recovery firmware is the entire firmware file. If you're already on a firmware that you can actually boot into and you're able to use the PS4 firmware, then you can use the retail firmware right over here. So you can scroll all the way down to 9.00. There you go, guys. And you can just download this. It's 467 MB. I know this this process is a little bit, uh, it, it could be new for some people or not so new for some people. So I have covered this in detail in one of my other videos as a sound point five five upgrade and jailbreak. So if you look over here, guys, I did cover this uh, in detail. I talked about 
how to download your particular firmware. Instead of downloading the 7.55 firmware, all you gotta do is just download the 9.00 firmware and you can follow this part of the video all the way up to naming your particular file to how you make the folder, how you format your USB pen drive and what you gotta do on your particular PS4 in order to go ahead and upgrade your PS4. So as you can see here, it does get you to the screen here. I'm updating to 7.55, but in this case, it's gonna be 9.00. So I will leave a link in the description on, and a timestamp from where to where you can actually watch in order to update your PS4 without any issues and a very easy breeze. So once you're done with that, guys, you can jump back into this video and we're gonna go with the rest of the process. In Windows, you need to have your USB pen drive. Make sure that you do not have any files on it. That's important. Once you have that, and you could it could be in a FAT32 or XFAT, it does not really matter matter because it's going to wipe it completely clean. So once you have your USB pen drive that you want to use, uh, once you plug it in guys, you need to use a software to go ahead and flash it. I'm using Windows 32 Disk Imager. You can go ahead and download that from here. I'm going to leave the link in the description guys to go ahead and download this particular software. Once you download this particular software, you also need this particular image file. So I already have this file kept over here. So what you got to do is make sure that you have the same drive letter that's D, that's for me. Uh, it could be something else for you on your particular PC. So make sure you have this matching over here. You do not want to go ahead and do this to another drive and it could lose a lot of important data. So guys, make sure that whatever pen drive you're going to use does have the same drive letter you want to use and that's what you select over here. When you select that over here, so this is the image file that we're going to be using. So I can just go ahead and click this. Navigate to desktop. There it is. And that is the one I'm going to use. Click on open. Once you've done that, you've selected the right image file and the right uh, drive for your particular pen drive. Then you go ahead and click on write. So it's gonna ask you, write new physical letter, can it corrupt the device? So make sure that you wanna continue, click yes. And that's it guys, it's write successful. It is gonna make it look like it's corrupt. Sometimes when you plug it in, it keeps saying that the drive is corrupt, but don't worry about it. Now you already have it done. Just go ahead and eject it, take it out and keep it handy while we're using it on the PS4. So guys, before we go ahead and start jailbreaking, you need to keep a note of your PS4's IP address because that's important for us to go ahead and inject Golden 2.0. So go to network, go to view connection status, and there you should be able to go ahead and see your IP address over there. So make sure you keep a note of this IP address, guys. It's very important that you keep a note of it. And now let's proceed to the web browser. So thanks to developer Chameleon, he was quick to go ahead and put up a host for us to go ahead and test this out. So I've actually bookmarked it over here. I will leave the link in the description. Um, go ahead and click this and you can go ahead and get the link in the description, guys. So this is what's going to happen. This circle is going to stop spinning and it's going to give you a few seconds. Either it might end up in a memory error or the message that we want to see. It should be about inserting the USB pen drive that we flashed earlier. Okay, there we go. That's a good sign. Insert the USB now. So guys, go ahead and insert the USB. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I just inserted it. And once you insert it, it should say the file system is not supported on the top left corner. Great. So now this message has popped up. So that's good. Once this message pops up and then let's go, then you go ahead and click on OK. And that's it, guys. Awaiting payload. So guys, if you get the message awaiting payload, that means your jailbreak has been successful. Now, if at all you don't get awaiting payload, you get something like just payload, or if something is going wrong here, just go and restart your PS4, but guys, remove your pen drive before you do that, and here's why. Now, the reason I ask you to remove it, guys, because it is kind of crucial you remove it, because having that pen drive plugged in when your PS4 reboots or, you know, if at all your, your PS4 crashes, has a kernel exploit, before it reboots again, if your pen drive is plugged in, it might corrupt your kernel in the PS4, guys. So that's something you need to note. So now that we have awaiting payload on the PS4, so once you have the awaiting payload, that means you're already successful, you can go and remove your USB pen drive just to be on the safe side. And then what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna go and inject Golden into the PS4. Now for that, let's jump back onto, so jump back onto the system right now. You're supposed to be connected to the same network as your PS4 right now. So guys, if you open this up, as I did mention, these are the important files that we need. Open up Netcat, fire this up, there we go. So it is fired up right now. This is Netcat and this is a small little software that Modern Warfare has created. So hats off to him for making this much easier. Rather than using commands, we have it in a graphical user interface. So this should be your PS4's IP address. Leave this as it is. It should be open port 1920, that's fine. And here we're gonna put the payload, which is Goldhen. So we can just open this up, drag Goldhen into this part here, and that's about it, guys. 
So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and inject payload and it should go ahead and inject on the PS4. So I'm going to try and make this uh, visible for both of them together in the same video. Hold on a second. All right, I'm going to click on inject payload right now. And there we go, guys. As you can see, Golden 2.00 be loaded, coded by Sistro. That's about it. Now you're completely jailbroken. I'm going to switch to the PS4 entirely just a second. All right, there you go, guys. You did see that Gold Hint did load up, so I'm gonna leave back into uh, the home screen, go down to settings, and as usual, there you should be able to see Gold Hen right over there. So open Gold Hen, you can enable the FTP server if you want it, and you can see all the details over here. Go to the settings, guys, no jump cuts or anything. You can see Gold Hen on the top. Scroll all the way to the bottom. If you go to system, as you guys can see on system information, Hen 9.00, we are now officially jailbroken on 9.00 firmware, guys. And of course, guys, once you jailbreak, the very first thing you're gonna do, go down to your particular, your favorite host. Um, this is Noski's host, by the way, guys. It actually has a really good effect to it. I actually love the way he actually has made this particular host. You guys can go check this out. This is the link in the description. I will leave this as well. Um, I'm gonna go down to payload page and the very first thing that everyone should do that I personally recommend is to go for disable updates. Now that is very important. Go ahead and click on disable updates. So before you go ahead and launch any of these updates over here, you need to actually go to settings, uh, gold hand, enable the bin loader server. So once you enable this one, click on disable updates. There you go. Payload is received and disabled updates. So guys, go ahead and run disable updates just to make sure that your PS4 doesn't automatically update to 9.03 which would be quite a bummer after we had this big breakthrough. So that's about it. Everything is super simple, super easy. I know this little method of adding gold hand into your particular PS4 is a few extra steps, but guys, this is just temporary. Uh, there, is, there are developers working in the background. I'm talking about Chameleon, Natsuki, Sistro. They're working in the background to make it as a one-stop solution in one particular web page. In fact, I'm testing it out as well right now. We're still running into a little bit of issues. But for right now, guys, once you have Gold Hand injected into your PS4, you are now completely jailbroken. And guys, you did see the stability. It was super stable. Uh, just one try, it just went straight through. There was only one or two times I got a memory error. There's a maximum of two times, and that's about it. So that's about it guys, you are now officially jailbroken at 9.00, congratulations. Hats off to all the devs and every effort they've put into. I'm talking about Andy Nugent, Chenochap, and everyone else who've been involved, Spectre, all the other names and all the devs who've been involved in this particular release and hats off to them. All these crazy games are gonna be out now guys and a lot of backporting is gonna happen and a lot of games are gonna be available as well, so. Enjoy the season. Of course, guys, um, now that we have 9.00 come out, I will be focusing more on tutorials on all the old tutorials like Remote Package Installer, Linux on your PS4, and all of these things. And now that we have a stable jailbreak, we would not have to go through all that instability issues that we've been facing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial as well. Drop it a like, drop a subscribe if you already haven't subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification. Let me know if you guys have been able to successfully jailbreak as well. Let me know it in the comments, guys. I'm really eager to you know hear from you all. And that's about it for this video. Happy gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.